name is Adi Gutierrez. I am the co-chair of Latino Equality Alliance, an organization that we founded after Prop 8, uh, we being grassroots organizers. As for myself, I am a, identify as a Latina, as a lesbian, as a wife now. And <laughs> The work that we're doing with the Latino Equality Alliance has been a, ve a very important part of, um, of my life and really uh, I'm so happy in my life that I want to do anything I can to give back to my community uh, so that others can realize that level of happiness. Uh, being a person who's out, uh, who is um, happily gay, um, is not easy for, for everybody and uh, there's issues around family acceptance, there's issues about employers, uh, even just in the community um, at large about who you are and being who you are. Um, you know, when you're trying to buy a house and when you go out to dinner and, you know, just in every parts of our lives. And so the work that we've been doing is trying to make that life better and easier for everyone who identifies as, as, uh, as LGBT. And um, it's so wonderful that we are now doing work with youth and, and leadership development. We are also working with uh, our stakeholders to give them a role in this work uh, in our community and really to provide a voice for the Latino community. Prop 8 in 2008 was a critical moment where the quote-unquote mainstream community didn't believe that we had the resources or the herewithal to be able to run a campaign office uh, or to even be involved uh, in the campaign at the level that they needed. And, you know, we proved them wrong. And uh, actually, we, uh, Honor Pack got an award because of that point. Uh, so I was glad to be part of that, but I think that's again another important point where sometimes you really do have to shake that tree in order for people to listen to you and you know that you know we talk about giving a voice to our community it's like having a voice doesn't matter if no one listens so we need to be able to do things in a way that is professional, that is competent, that is confidence building, and that really delivers that key message of the needs and the needed change. So that's what's important in the work that we're doing, and that's, those are the type of turning points that have happened in, in the community work that I've been involved with, and, uh, and now through Leia that we're doing more of that. Uh, faith and family, it, you know, it's who Latinos are. You cannot take that out of you. And so if you're gay and you're in a gay family and you want to raise a gay family, uh, that has to be a part of your experience. And so therefore, yes, it does apply to the work that we're doing with the Latino Equality Alliance because it's about bringing that culture. It's about bring, being true to ourselves and to who we are as a community so that we can uh, re provide respect and honor our ancestors and be able to build that path for our next generations. Well, you know, I came from San Antonio, Texas, where while I was in college, uh, we went from having a Latino mayor to having a woman mayor. And I thought that was the norm. I came to, to Los Angeles and boy, we didn't have a Latino mayor and we certainly didn't have any women as in leadership positions. Uh, in fact, Gloria Molina uh, had just been elected to the city council and I was uh, able to uh, attend her, the swearing in when she became a, a super, she was on the board of supervisors. First Latina, first uh, woman. So that level of empowerment was not around. And then I walk in, this little, you know, Latina, you know, with a little college degree, acting like she's all that. And they say, you? You're the one they sent to take care of this problem or this or that? I'm like, yeah, what's wrong with it? So 
that's where I realized, you know what, there's got to be a lot of changes that need to happen and they're not going to happen by them. These type of changes aren't going to happen by themselves and somebody needs to stand up for that. And, uh, and if it's, if not you, then who? So, uh, I took that, uh, to mean me, uh, as far as being involved and, uh, taking an active role in my community and how that is experienced, not just by me, but by my counterparts and, and really the next generation. You know, it's our responsibility to prepare it for the next generation, so. Hola. 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 Hola.